Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric, and again, the Nintendo Switch is just oozing. Like, literally, purple ooze from Ghostbusters 2 is just oozing all over the eShop with so many Nintendo Switch indies out there. We got everything from puzzles, racers, uh, adventure games, and we even have clones of some of the greatest games of all time. And that's what brings me to today's video. You know, growing up, I used to play Mega Man pretty badly. I only have beaten one Mega Man game to this date, Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo. And no matter how much I've tried to get good, I just can't do it. And when I saw Metagal was in the Nintendo Switch eShop and saw that it was basically a Mega Man clone, I wanted to sink my teeth right into that sucker. Cause I mean, who doesn't like a Mega Man game? If you don't like Mega Man, you must be a communist. And this actually looked like such a great game. And what sold me on it was the fact that it was a Mega Man clone. I mean, I knew instantly, you know, some people have a thing for Metroid games or Castlevania, Metroidvania type of genre and stuff. My vice is old school Mega Man type of clones like this. No matter how much I suck at Mega Man, I just can't get enough of it. This game looked like it was something that was worth checking out. So in today's video, I'm going to go ahead, give a quick little look-see at this game and see if it's sweet to play or not. So grab a seat, sit back, relax, snacky snacky, little drinky drinky, and let's begin today's video, shall we? So Metagel, as I mentioned, is not only a homage to games like Mega Man, I would honestly say it's probably one of the most solid titles I've seen in the eShop in quite some time. And right off the bat, the most attractive thing about this game is not just because it's a solid title, not because it plays like Mega Man, but because of its price point. This is $4.99 for an eShop title that is freaking phenomenal and plays great which it really does and i'll get into that in a minute i will get into how everything just looks sounds and feels i just wanted to knock it out of the park single-handedly the main reason why i could recommend this game is because it's 4.99 if you could find a good game in the eShop that is five dollars or less it's a no-brainer right here and i think this is honestly a hidden gem I wanted to cover this game ever since I saw the trailer for it and I also had a few people in my comments section ask if I could cover this game and I'm really glad I did. Starting the stages, starting the levels, you could really feel that this is a Mega Man game. And matter of fact, Metagal, who's as cute as ever and as solid as ever, if you were to replace her with Mega Man himself, you would honestly think this was... Mega Man 12, like I said. And the basic story's premise is that there's a bad guy named the Creeper. I guess that's kind of original. He basically takes over and reprograms your friends and you have to go and save the day. You have to like defeat them, take their power-ups, make your way to the Creeper's hideout and save the day as Metagal. And along the way, you go across a variety of stages that contain basically the traditional Mega Man obstacles. You got ladders, you got enemies that shoot, that have shields. You got basically sprite swaps of some of the most classic Mega Man enemies of all time. There's spikes and other stuff, pitfalls, lots of pitfalls, rotating blocks, moving platforms, you name it. You've seen it in a Mega Man game before. You will be right at home with Meta Gal. And it wouldn't be a Mega Man clone without solid jumping gameplay. Not once did this game feel laggy, not once did it feel like it was loosey-goosey, not once did it feel like the jumping mechanics were just not right. This was actually spot on and I would say that this is every bit of a game that Mighty Number no. 9 should have been that wasn't. Now there's also you know other games on the Nintendo Switch that play a lot like Mega Man, like Mighty Gun Vault to burst. But I feel this one is actually a lot more solid in the regards of how everything should work in a Mega Man game. The stages are very vibrant, colorful, creative. The layouts, not too long, but just right. A fair amount of challenge there. 
that if, if you're a Mega Man noob, you're going to have a little bit of a difficult time. But if you're an experienced veteran, you might get some enjoyment out of this game. I don't know. Some people might breeze through it pretty good. Me, it kind of takes me a while to get used to some of these levels. A lot of trial and error on my part. But it's not a bad thing. My favorite controller of preference is the Pro Controller, of course, because the D-pad is awesome and solid on it for this game. I know sometimes people feel it's not, but I didn't experience any problems with that. Another thing that completes this game, just like with Mega Man, the soundtrack is absolutely great. This is a smaller Switch title, so when I see stuff like awesome vibrant colors that just look like it belongs on the Super Nintendo, or a fantastic soundtrack that sounds just as comparable to the Mega Man X series, I get instantly sold. And this game had no disappointment graphical wise or soundtrack wise. I honestly thought, wow, I could totally jam to this shit in my car. I hope somebody re-uploads it. If they don't, then I'm just gonna become a Meta Gal soundtrack YouTube and uploader. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, Meta Gal. Again, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and play through a majority of a level for you guys just so you could see it for yourselves get a little taste for it see if it's something that you might be interested in and then we will close with some final thoughts let's go to the main game once you complete the introductory tutorial type of stage you're brought to the stage like screen again you're going to be fighting against your friends who have been basically programmed reprogrammed to fight you and each one's name is a power up that you get so shield dash buster and work you know each unique with their own abilities and stuff and just like Mega Man you defeat them you get their power-ups and this really is a solid like Mega Man club so let's go ahead pick one out you'll even see the ready right there it looks like it's lifted right out of Mega Man X and just look at these colorful vibrant backgrounds of this game and just like Mega Man there is a challenge of enemies just spread out spread out throughout the stage uh, you have the basic attack which is this you have a dash you can use that with x when you're walking or tap forward twice to jump and then you have a special power up that is with the um, the a button and you see that meter right there the blue meter underneath your health refills slowly so you do have a power up that refills itself basically it regenerates which is a little bit different than Mega Man you have this attack but you also have a special ability to refill your health like so like that you see that so that is something else that's different as well and of course as you progress through, this, through the game you find secret items that upgrade your current weapons you find you know does take off from a lot of Mega Man. It, it's no secret. They don't really try to hide it. You basically could put Mega Man himself as the main character, and this could be Mega Man 12. You know? I would say it's a little bit more of a homage. Homage? Homage to the past. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. You know? It's pretty solid. Now we're going to have a mini boss. You know, he's. Just like in Mega Man, you gotta find out what your, your weakness is. Looks like it's this guy's head. Now, it is tedious to, to, to beat some of these bosses, especially when they have such a small little hit detection box, like so. And that's cool, I used him as a little step stool. Now, that's a checkpoint right there. So, I have a checkpoint that I used. Um, I'm sure if you had a better power up, you can fly up there or something, but I don't. So you can see the sprites, everything about this game. Just a lot of fun to look at, you know? I, I dig stuff like this. And the best thing about Metagal is that it's so cheap. It is $4.99. So they say a lot of times games like this are ripoffs maybe even tributes, homages. I would say that this is actually a love letter to the Mega Man series. You can tell the people that put this together came up with a little bit of passion behind it. The character herself has a lot more quirkiness, personality, and I guess, uh, you know, charisma than Mighty Number no. 9 could have had. 
And I feel that if there was ever going to be a game on the Nintendo Switch right now that I could say, go ahead and grab it. It plays just like Mega Man and it's great. It's underrated. It's a hidden gem. It's this one. I feel that this is a great indie title that is eventually going to get put on a physical cart. So I'm kind of torn. You might want to download it right now. It's only $4.99. You're only going to lose out on five bucks plus tax. You're not going to miss out on much if you download it and then it comes out on cartridge later. I think this game is actually worth coming out on cartridge. Again, it plays solid. It looks great. It's a lot of fun. It brought me back to yesteryears. It felt good. It hit that nostalgia spot. My nostalgia spot is right here at the bottom of my fupa and it did it wonderfully. It totally fed my Mega Man craving. I like old school 16-bit sprite Mega Man. Mega Man 11, I wasn't feeling it too much with the way that looked, but this, I feel like I'm playing a Mega Man X game on the Super Nintendo once again, and to me, that's not a bad thing at all. So I am going to go ahead and put it on the 8-B-E-G-G-S, the 8-Bit Eric Game Grading Scale, as a solid 8.5. Go ahead and check it out. $4.99, you can't lose with that price. Have I done you wrong at all? If I have done you wrong, comment down below. I want to hear your bitching. If I'm always spot on, comment as well. You know, I just want to hear either way. I like listening to you guys. And if you enjoyed the video or hated it, don't forget to click one of the thumbs, right? One of the thumbs. You're either thumbs up, thumbs down, or in your butt. Who knows? And if you're brand new to the channel, Feel free to throw a subscription. It is free to do so. I upload all the time, so you won't be bored here. Unless you totally have no life and you don't like me and you hate me. I don't know. Either way, thanks a lot, guys, as always, for watching. I will see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Salutations.